hello and welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you how you can upgrade a service pack of suse enterprise linux 15 from sp3 to sp4 and just one quick note same step will be followed if you wanted to upgrade it further for example sp4 to sp5 actually earlier i did a similar video on the suse linux 12 which is this one if you are interested you can watch this video which is available into my channel okay without doing further delay let's jump right into the upgrade process okay before proceeding with the service pack upgrade there are few prerequisites that must be placed in your system the first is you have to make sure your system is registered with the SUSE. Second is that you can confirm that your system is completely up to date with all the available patches and updates. And the third is you can verify that Jeeper migration plugin will be installed and available into your system. Okay, I will show all the prerequisite steps into my terminal. Let me open my terminal. Okay, now I am into my terminal. First of all, let's check the operating system over there by using the command ktc os release. So you can see here the Linux version is 15 and service pack is sp3. Okay, now we can check whether my system is connected to SUSE or not. Mine is already connected, but this is the command how you can check. You can use the command SUSE connect hyphen l. So you can see all my repository is already activated. So now you can use jeeper refresh command to refresh your repo. So it is refreshing all the repository. Okay, so now all my repository has been refreshed. Let me list all the repositories by using the command zipper lr lr stand for list repository so now you can see i am having this many repository okay now let's check if any updates are there which is pending to install into your system using the command zipper lu list update So it is fetching from the repository. Let's install all the update using the jeeper update command. You can run the command jeeper update hyphen y. So it is currently installing all the updates. Okay, so now update is completed. So reboot the system in order to sync with the latest update. Once it is come up, we'll proceed for the service pack migration. So using the reboot command, let's reboot the server. Okay, so my server is up now and I have reconnected to my system. Now let's proceed for the service pack migration but before that make sure jeeper migration plugin is installed into your system. You can check using a command rpm hyphen q zipper migration plugin. So you can see jeeper migration plugin is already present into my system. In case if you not have then you just install it using a command jeeper install jeeper migration plugin hyphen y so using this command it will install in case if this plugin is not present into your system so now everything is on place and we are good to proceed for the service pack migration in order to do that just run the command jeeper migration So once you will run this command, it will check uh, all the service packs which are available. 
so now you can see uh, it is giving us a two option uh, there are two service pack which is available for update one is sp5 and another is sp4 so now we are proceeding for the migration of sp4 so enter the option 2 and hit enter so it will take around 3 to 5 minute based on the number of package which is installing into the system so let's wait till it's get completed so now you can see it is collected all the required package which needs to be installed in order to upgrade it to sp3 to sp4 so total 431 package which needs to be upgraded so you have to give the confirmation by pressing the wipe button in order to install so i wanted to install all these updates so i will press y and i will hit enter so it will take around 5 to 8 minute based on the number of package which is installing into this system so let's wait till it gets completed okay uh, so now you can see the service pack is upgraded successfully into my system now let's check the version yes so now you can see it is successfully upgraded to sp4 now you can reboot the system one more time and check if it is coming up nicely so yes this is how you can do the migration of uh, service pack from sp3 to sp4 please hit the like button and if you are new to my channel please subscribe as well thanks for watching